What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about predicting the Avengers DLC. So we know some of the DLC. Technically, if you want to believe the leaks, the data mine stuff. In fact, I actually covered that a, a few weeks ago. We all we know all of the DLC characters coming to Avengers, and the question is, how often are they going to come? That's kind of always been, in my opinion, that's like the the biggest question I have, especially for a game that is designed to look. It's going to last you a while, but at the end of the day you are going to play everything there is to play in fact there's already people you know granted people that maybe played it day one like if you bought the deluxe editions that are done that have leveled everybody up to 150 and when you get to that point i mean you can help other people do it but you've pretty much done everything there is now we know that there's the mega hives that there are additional end game content coming to the game so i'm not saying there's going to be nothing to do but my general point with the DLC and trying to make my argument of when we're going to get the DLC is that this is important to come out very, very quickly, right? That my point is that they need to get this thing out semi-often. And so, okay, well, what do we got? Well, we know Kate Bishop is number one and we know Hawkeye is number two. Well, are you going to do it monthly? I think that they should probably at least start out by doing monthly. So if I were to predict this, and this isn't hard, by the way, because with Kate Bishop, look, they got announced, obviously, in the last war table. They talked about how, you know, there's going to be more information. There'll be another one. I would ideally assume that in October, they're going to do a war table and say, okay, she comes at the end of this month, and here's, you know, a couple other things we're going to talk about. Maybe Hawkeye comes at the end of November. I really think you try to get at least, at least, least two characters out by the end of this year. And I think that is honestly a low end figure. I think I, I think really if you wanted to do it quicker or you want, you know, to, to provide us more content, to have Kate Bishop come out, let's say like first couple weeks of October, you know, Clint have Hawkeye come out first couple weeks of November, and then have your third character come out in the beginning of December. I feel like that's how you're, how maybe they should do it, and maybe honestly, maybe they will do it. The thing is, we don't necessarily know who character number three is. Now they tease Black Panther. I think they obviously just did that because of Chadwick. I I honestly believe that that is further out. That maybe he is the fourth. DLC and they just said okay well he's not probably going to come till January February March but we're going to show him off here but look you know and I don't want to use Predator Hunting Grounds as an example because I don't really want to use that game as an example for anything but you look at how they're doing it the game came out in April and every month okay May June July August and September they've had DLC every single month and granted it's not been sizable okay from a player that's played that game for uh, quite often it's not sizable it's honestly not even all that good but there's been big drops here and there okay but to be quite honest with you I think they're pretty much done or they'll do like every couple months after September now why did I say all that well I, I think that that's probably what they're gonna do here for Marvel's Avengers I really do think that I think that if you have 15, 16 characters. And with Spider-Man, it's weird because because he's only on one console, does he mess up like a release schedule? Like, do you have two characters come out one month because you want to give every you know what I mean? Because that's not fair to everybody. You know, everybody says I'm a Sony fanboy, but in all reality, I'm not, firstly. And secondly, I will say it's not fair to well, it's not fair to everybody, firstly, because they can't get Spider-Man. And secondly, it wouldn't be fair if they said, all right. January, you get a character. February, you get a character. March, okay, well, March is just Spider-Man. Everybody else needs to wait till April to get your, you know what I mean? If they did that, that's that's pretty unfair. So if they did March, maybe you had two characters. You had Spider-Man, and then you had Blank come out. I think that, you know, that would be something. But we'll see. You know, a thing that worries me is will they actually be able to do this for all of the characters. It could even be, and I never thought about this up until right now, it could be like a Star Wars Battlefront 2 situation where, you know, people, yes, they data mined, and there's all these characters. There's 15 characters, I think Spider-Man makes it 16. There's a ton of characters, but do they all end up actually happening? How often are we getting them? So are we going to get them monthly? Again, I think the, to, be, to end 2020, we should get them monthly. After that, in 2021, I would say at least every other month. I would still love it if they did every month. But to be honest with you, that means they would run out of characters 
by like this time next year, one year into Avengers, they'd run out of characters. Sounds like they want to support the game longer than that. And if they want to support the game longer, you need more characters. So again, to bring up like a Battlefront 2 situation, which maybe is a better example for Battlefront 2, they supported them. They didn't really do a great job of scheduling it, right? They weren't very consistent in their support for heroes and villains. But what's a thing that happened? Well, the data mine stuff, they found, you know, all these characters had dialogue for other characters that never ended up appearing, right? You could see uh, a very classic example is General Grievous talked about Padme and Ahsoka as characters that potentially he could face off against, meaning... They put that in the game. They had them record it. You could find that in the data mine of Battlefront. That, yeah, these were characters found, but I wouldn't even call them prototypes. You know what I mean? They were like, they were options. If they wanted to do them, they were options. So I think that's maybe the best way of saying it. So you look at Avengers and you say, okay, they have 15, 16 characters, but are they options? Are they really planning on doing, let's say, 10 and spacing them out every other month, which would get you two years. And then the other ones, you know, you, you know what I mean? They could, like, swap. They could say, well, we were going to do, you know, we have these characters, but maybe we want to do this character instead. But because we put them all in the, the files of the game, we can pick any of them that we want. You know what I mean? That could very well be, and I never really thought about that until right now. You could really take it, the Battlefront 2 approach, where, yeah, they're all options, but maybe they're not all going to happen. That, that's something just to think about. But I think that they really have a solid chance here because I've talked about it. You know, they need to support this game. This game needs heroes. In my opinion, it needs more villains. It needs more kind of like objectives or like mission types. Uh, I, I've I've constantly said like it needs actually more villains to fight and especially these villain sectors, you know, rather than just Abomination and Taskmaster. I think they need more of them. But, you know, at the, at the end of the day, if you're going to do, and that's another thing to think of too, if you do a hero and they also come with a villain each time, which by the way, I don't think will happen, but say, say in a perfect world they do I mean that's a lot of content that's a lot so to expect 15 to 16 you know attempts at that that's a lot of you know that's a lot to ask of them and again you look at it of well will it even make enough money because it's going to take a lot of work to do that and you would assume that they would all have these story kind of beats that would go with them I mean that is a lot of work that will keep this team busy literally I mean as they said for years and years and years but at the same time if they're not making a ton of money are they going to be able to do that so you know I, I know this is obviously a much I think it's much more than just a predictions video I think again to sum it up, they will probably do every month to end this year, October, at least October, November, if not October, November, December. But then I honestly do think in 2021 that they probably will not do monthly. I think that it honestly, it, whether it slips like on accident or they do it on purpose where they say, okay, well, the plan always was to give you, you know, three back to back to back, but then, or even four, because you know what I mean? They tease the four circles. So let's give you the first four, you know, uh, October, November. December, January, but then after January, let's say it's season two with another four characters. Well, they're going to be bi-monthly. You know what I mean? I think that's something, honestly, that could very, very well happen, but just a prediction. So guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Which characters do you think is, is firstly coming first? I mean, technically, we only know in order Kate Bishop and then Hawkeye. So who do you think comes after that? And then how often do you think we get these uh, overall? Do you think it goes monthly? Do you think it goes bi-monthly? Do you think that we'll even get all of the characters that were seemingly you know, in that leak? Let me know in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel podcast now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. And follow me on Twitter if you guys have not yet already. Podcast Now 15 is my Twitter handle. The link for it will be in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.